George Corps, Peter Fisher, Caribou Corps, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Keith Buckley, the vocalist known for his bands Every Time I Die and The Damn Things, has had a new band in the works for over a year. No musicians or band name yet. However, Buckley is set to film a music video next month, and he stated, I've been recording songs with a new band since September, and the new music has never been heavier. Stay tuned. And Bush, they have announced a 2023 tour. They're set to release their new album, Loaded, The Greatest Hits, 1994 to 2023, out on November 10th. And to celebrate the album, the band will head out on a North American headlining tour in November with support from Bad Wolves and Eva Under Fire. So check the band's website sites for tour dates. The band Sorcerer have returned and have announced their new album titled Reign of the Reaper, and it's going to be out October 27th. New single out now. It's called Morning Star. You can pick it up on digital retailers and streamers, and pre-orders for the album are now up. Steel Panther have announced a Christmas holiday tour as they tour so to support their latest album. And the tour is called On the Prowl Winter Holidays, starting in December, and support is from Moon Fever. So uh, you can check that out if you haven't seen them live. Steel Panther's latest album is called On the Prowl, and that's now out. Continuing with your Maximum Threshold.net rock and metal news, Marilyn Manson was in court in New Hampshire recently and entered a no contest plea and was sentenced. The incident incident took place August 19th, 2019 at a concert in Guilford, New Hampshire. Manson was performing and spat on a camera of a videographer. And it's alleged that Manson's fluids were to have come into contact with the videographer. As a result of the plea, Manson has been fined $1,200 and also faces 20 hours of community service. And there is a new interview posted online with Sabotage's John Oliva. He had a chat with Monsters, Madness, and Magic on their YouTube channel. And John gave an update on his new music from the band and his health. He said, well, we're working on a new Sabotage record until I fractured my spine. And so we have to put that off now until the first of the year. I slipped on a wet marble floor and I fractured my T7 vertebrae. It is very painful. I'm actually in a lot of pain right now. So he has to wear a brace for four months, but we do get a new Sabotage album. Hopefully they are working on one. And get set for a second leg of a tour from Static X and Seven Dust, their machine killer tour they've announced announced dates for 2024 so check out their websites for all the dates and support us from dope as edsel dope will perform two shows on the night static x as zero and he'll sing for dope as well and finally the big news blink 182 have released two new songs a music video for this song one more time and that is off their new album also called one more time which is going to be out october October the 20th through Columbia Records, the first album with the lineup Mark, Tom, and Travis since 2011. And they have another song out called More Than You Know as well. So you can check those out on YouTube and digital retailers and streamers. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.